What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you guys the next attack meta video. As you guys may or may not know, in this series I basically break down the best attack strategies for the most relevant Town Hall levels, this case Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, and Town Hall 12. So it's a good way to know what you should be focusing on upgrading in your laboratory, what's the best uh, troops to have maxed out, and when you're looking at bases, what are the strategies you want to look to use first, because um, it gives you a good idea of what's working right now at each town hall level. And also defensively, it gives you a good idea of what to try to defend against when you're building your bases. Um, so we're going to get right into it though. Town Hall 12, starting up at the top town hall level, Drag Bat is a very, very popular strategy, and it can be an overwhelming attack against some bases. Now there's different variations of it, and some of them do involve using E-Drags, which I think are kind of an honorable mention for Town Hall uh, 12, but I think Dragons, um, the regular Dragons, are a little bit more uh, powerful and just a little bit better um, at Town Hall 12. I do have a video out on how to determine whether to use Dragons or E-Dragons, so check that out if you're interested a few videos back. Um, but this is a very strong strategy using the uh, bat spell with a rage and or a freeze on some splash damage on the back end to kind of help finish off what's left because the dragons are very very strong if you're able to use the heroes to funnel either side and then you're able to uh, kind of get them all within your rages get the warden's ability and everything they push through the first half of the base really quickly what determines whether or not you three star is the back end of the base and if there's air defenses lingering up and a bunch of like expos and tough buildings on dragons still lingering, then it's gonna be difficult. However, um, if you're able to deal with that with bat spells or maybe the stone slammer gets good value or something, then you can uh, you can finish off that second half of the base, the second, even that last third, which tends to be pretty difficult. Um, I also like, I've seen people use an E-Dragon or two, whether it's in the Battle Blimp or whether you bring your own, because those are very effective for the back end of the base, because they can target things from multiple buildings away, um, whereas the Dragons tend to kind of peter out towards the end. The E-Dragons can be good finishers, so keep that in mind as well for your attacks. Um, and they're also good at funneling too. If your heroes can't quite do the entire thing, you can use an E-Drag on one side to kind of funnel, and that can be a helpful thing as well. Um, this is the other Town Hall 12 strategy. Now there's multiple things working. I've seen some Electron attacks uh, with the Sui Stone Slammer or a Sui Blimp with clone spells on the E-Dragon, then a Laloon. Um, that strategy is pretty good at Town Hall 12, but these are the two main strategies. If you're trying to 3-star at Town Hall 12, I would say first look for the Dragons. It's a little bit easier to execute. This is a bit of a complex um, complicated attack strategy, the Queen Charge Minor. But this has been, I think, up on the top of the Town Hall 12 attacks since Town Hall 12 triples were a thing. It's, it's always been a go-to. So I think a lot of people are comfortable with this, and uh, you've probably seen a lot of triples using Miners at Town Hall 12. But the idea is, typically you're going to have to do a Queen Charge, and a Queen Charge that enters the base. The base is just too big, too wide, typically, to just kind of walk along the outside. You have to actually enter the base with your Queen, and be able to get some uh, good defensive value, get the CC troops taken out. That's all things that have to be done. Then you use the King on the opposite side, and you can see, look at the minor pathing. Now it's not the entire width of the base. Now it's about four buildings wide. And that's going to be okay, because you can cover most miners in a heal spell at any given time. Um, right here, I think the first heal will be used. A few hogs coming in, which is a nice touch, because the hogs can take out defenses a little bit quicker, and they're going to kind of help push the miners through the base, take out those outer def uh, defenses. So I, I think hogs pair well, especially if you're going to heal both of them. Meanwhile, the queen charge got some incredible value here. Um, I think there was ice golems in the in the uh, wall wrecker, which came out and didn't do a whole lot, but they did tank a little bit, which is good. Miners moving through. The queen gets the town hall. Um, so you can see great value on the queen charge. Um, you want to look to get CC troops plus any of the uh, important buildings like inferno towers, defensive heroes, which can be a nuisance for miners, um, as well as the eagle, 
and uh, stuff like that, important buildings, and then also creating that pathing for the miners. Don't want it to be too wide. You want it to be like the width of three to four buildings going through. In this case, the miners start to slow down here, but the queen is still alive to finish off the rest of this base. So a nice hit. Um, this is definitely a go-to strategy in addition to the dragons. Okay, so last building goes down. And we will move right along. Got a lot of attacks to take a look at today. And, all right, going to be a little bit redundant here at Town Hall 11 because... A lot of what works at Town Hall 11 tends to also work at Town Hall 12. There are some slight differences though. Um, Town Hall 11, we're gonna look at miners first. This doesn't necessarily mean it's the best strategy, but it's definitely one of the top strategies at Town Hall 11 that you also wanna be thinking about if you're going for a three-star attack. Um, this one uses a stone slammer, which I find for whatever reason is, typically tends to be the siege machine of choice that you pair with your queen charge at Town Hall 11 more than Town Hall 12. Town Hall 12, I see the wall wrecker a lot more, and I'm not sure why, but um, for whatever reason, the stone slammer, maybe it's because the bases tend to have the air defenses more offset, and there's more places to kind of slip the stone slammer in and get good value. But um, yeah, you can see how it opens up the walls probably even more effectively than the wall wrecker would. And also, you don't have to worry about where the town hall is, because if the town hall is you know, on the same side you're doing the queen charge, you can't use the wall wrecker, um, but the stone slammer will work just fine because it targets defenses. So uh, good value here. Queen's going to get frozen by that ice golem. It's a pretty anti-queen charge CC, um, but she will be able to heal back up. And then because that value was gotten, uses the king down at uh, 6 o'clock, and then the miners coming through once again. Pay attention to, <coughs> excuse me, the the pathing for the miners the width of the base three to four buildings can cover most of them in a heal spell the ones they're getting targeted anyways um all covered there that's what you want to look for so once again we have that pathing which works out nicely there's a bunch of skeletons running around which will kind of hurt the miners but uh the heal spells keep them up queen's still alive and everything is good so um that's that's the formula guys for miners you've seen it twice now probably seen it in other attacks other videos before um it's just about setting up a queen charge typically using that siege machine to get her into the base whether it's a wall wrecker or a stone slammer which is, seems to be really effective at town hall 11 then using the king somewhere else and based on what the king and the queen can clear you want to have a um a nice three to four tile or <laughs> tile that'd be a really narrow pathing three to four building wide uh pathing for the miners so you can use your heal spells nice and effectively and as you can see, a bunch of miners left up. That'll do it, and um, we will move on to the next attack, which is one that um, I don't mean to like push an agenda here, because I'm trying to give the, like objectively the best strategies at Town Hall 11. But um, this is one that's not as widely used. And when you think of meta attacks, this isn't the right one. Um, looking for I must have wrote down the wrong number. I believe this is it. Yes, this is the base I want. Um, when you think of Town Hall 11 meta attacks, you don't tend to think of Falcon, but I've had so much success with it, and it crushes bases very nicely. I had to show it. Um, this is a variation I like to do. Basically, um, you cut the uh, funnel with the with a few balloons and a haste spell. Sometimes you're not going to get the easiest place to create a funnel. And if your queen walks the wrong way, you can pretty much just give up because then it turns into some kind of Valk spam, which uh, typically is not going to work. Um, what you want to look for when you're doing this attack is a nice queen charge where you can create the funnel even if it costs, you know, that was that 20 troop space and one spell space. Even at that price, that's okay. The important thing is that your queen is going to get good defensive value. You can use like one rage on her if you need to. In this case, I did. Um, but you want to have your Valks and your Bowlers enter somewhere where you know they're going to get pulled through the entire base. A lot of that comes down to looking at where the defensive queen is. You want the queen to be kind of on the opposite side of the base almost, so she pulls things in. She has a pretty big ranged, uh, range, as you can see. As soon as things get on those air sweepers, she's going to start targeting them, pulling them into the core of the base. So we use the king on the other side, as you might imagine, to create the other side of the funnel. In this case, the stone slammer was kind of used to open up some walls initially. It has Valks in it, 
um, and now it's getting kind of pushed around by the air sweeper. So that's kind of weird how everything's working out. And it looks like most of the troops are dead, but you'll find that as long as you're able to um, keep everything inside the base, even if a lot of stuff dies, a lot of stuff also won't die. And just keep raging things up. Uh, typically one heal spell, the rest rage will do it. And um, the healers stay on the queen. It's almost like a nice little queen walk at the end here. A uh, bunch of Valks end up going outside the base. A lot of those are from the Stone Slammer. And um, a few back-end hogs. Don't neglect doing this. This is very important. You can easily run out of time on a Falcon attack, or you can like barely run out of troops because they just can't get those last few defenses. What you want to do is bring these hogs. Once the Valks are outside the base and they're tanking, you slip these hogs into target defenses. Very important thing to do. I also had an extra spell space, so I brought a skeleton spell to help tank as well. That was a good choice, I think. Um, but wizards, hogs, you want to have at least like four wizards that you don't deploy. Three to four wizards you don't deploy during the actual initial setup that you save for the back end to help clean up and add where needed behind Valks to kind of shoot over walls. And also at least like four hogs to kind of sprinkle into the base where needed. So... Keep that in mind. I'm a big fan of this strategy. I think it's underused, and I think um, against the right base, it can three-star and make it, make it look a lot easier than it otherwise would be with another strategy. Um, the reason I confused myself is because I, I forgot to show the dragon attack. Um, I did tell you guys Town Hall 11 Town Hall 12 are very similar, so at Town Hall 12, we had dragons and miners. Town Hall 11, um, also dragons and miners, with the addition, I think, of the falcon, which was worth showing. There is Laloon, which is strong at Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 12. I just don't think it's quite in the meta as it may have used to be. I think um, in terms of air, dragons have definitely taken over much more so than straight up Laloon attacks have. So um, in this case, using the heroes on the top right and um, really not much of a funnel used on the other side. A very wide spread of all the troops which is okay in this case because there's there's enough buildings that once that initial push gets through there's not a lot on the back end so we can afford to go a little wider don't have to go quite as far into the base and then look at this the bat spell value on the back end i mean all these defenses going down bats are everywhere taking out all those different buildings great great value there um, what you want to look for in a dragon attack which is something people don't look for enough is where are the wizard towers, where are the multi-infernos? If you can find part of the base, in this case, the part of the base with the top left, where most of the wizard towers and multi-infernos are, and you can find a back end that only has like regular defenses that can't target air and splash damage, that's a great sign to use the bat spell. So in this case, um, it was a little bit of a wide entry, but it was worth it to get both multi-infernos and all those wizard towers at once because the back end was able to be taken out so easily by all those bats. So that's something you want to look for. I mean, if you have enough bat spells and you put them in a rage, there is nothing that can stop them besides a multi-inferno and a wizard tower. Um, assuming there's just not like a ton of defenses, but typically that's not the case. So keep that in mind for sure. That covers Town Hall 11. Um, number 27 here as we move on to Town Hall 10. A little different at Town Hall 10. Um, this first one is going to be a Lalo attack. I think Laloon is right now worth calling part of the attack meta at Town Hall 10. We will also take a look at Dragons. Spoil, spoiler alert. Um, but... Laloon is definitely something worth mentioning, and I think a lot of it's because of the Stone Slammer being so powerful at Town Hall 10. I mean, these defenses, without any air defenses or single infernos or seeking air mines, which are the best counters to the Stone Slammer, it is very, very difficult to stop. So as you can see here, it just destroys this left side of the base. It'll get the Inferno Tower as well, and then out of it, a bunch of balloons will pop and get even more value. Um... I'm not sure what was in the CC, but it looked like nothing really came out, so that's okay, I guess. Um, makes it better for the attacker. Must have been like a Lava Hound or Balloon or P.E.K.K.A. or something, Ice Golems, I don't know. Um, heroes used on the other side, and a great thing about attacking this base with this strategy is that the, he the defensive queen can be taken out by the uh, heroes, so that's a nice thing to take out because you don't have to worry about using a skeleton spell 
and um, it can really break an attack if you don't get the queen taken out, as you guys I'm sure know. So the ice golems do come out eventually, they'll focus on the queen, but that's pretty much done up there. So here comes the Laloon attack. There is just way too many uh, Lava Hounds, Balloons, and Spells for what's left up on the base here. It's going to be overkill, as you guys can see, pretty much. Um, it's all because of that Stone Slammer value that was gotten. So um, look to use the Stone Slammer effectively. You can use it as an Electron attack or just a straight-up Lalo. Um, in this case, the attacker chose just to put Balloons in the CC, which works fine. The uh, Where you look to use an E-Dragon, perhaps, would be if um, you're in a situation where... The queen is also in the area. That way you can get the defensive queen taken out and the CC troops as well. In this case, the queen was over on the other side. So uh, the attacker here just wanted to get defenses, lure out the CC, let the heroes take care of that. Um, so works out great. Has a swag haste spell. And uh, we'll fast forward to the end here. Uh, two more attacks to take a look at today. Then we will wrap up this video. A bit of a long one, but that's how the attack meta videos tend to be. All right, 31. It's going to be my attack, but not quite. Um, here is a dragon attack, and every Town Hall level, guys, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, dragons are arguably the top strategy. I'd say Town Hall 10, maybe. And a lot of this depends on the base. If you build a good base, you can defend drag, uh, dragons, dragloon. I think pretty easily. If you want to, you can do it. Some strategies in the past, like it's very difficult to defend it. I don't think dragons are one of those strategies. I think you can build a good base with gaps, with good sweeper placement, with good coverage on your air defenses in terms of having multi-infernos, wizard towers in the area. I think it's very doable, but still, a lot of these bases are going to be set up that make it very easy to three-star them with dragons. Um, and this is one of them. So here we go with the... Uh, mass dragons coming from the top right. I like how the dragon was put on the town hall ahead of time. It's going to take a while. Might as well let it start to take out the town hall. Um, there's a troll tesla, but that's fine. The uh, dragons will take that out. Stone slammer up top will help with that air defense. Push everything into the base. And then look at the bats here. Once again, where are the wizard towers? Where are the multi-infernos? Not anywhere nearby. And that's what the heroes were used for. They basically cleared out... Um, the bottom of the base, I think there was like a wizard tower or two down here. Those were gone, meaning there's nothing that can take out these bats. Look at how much of overkill this was. Very few bats die, very few dragons die. Um, this is a very strong combo. Dragons against the splash and bats on the end that doesn't have splash. And because it's not always black and white like that, you can use your heroes to help out, take out a few exterior wizard towers. Um, to kind of make it so there's nothing on the back end that can hurt the bats. And that will pretty much crush the base. So, yeah, I guess you guys can see why this is a top strategy at every town hall level. Okay, one more attack to take a look at. Number 34 here, Tornado Top Hat. Had to do it, had to show miners. Um, so, dragons and miners, guys, that's the theme of today's video. Um, works at every town hall level. Now, keep in mind, town hall 10 is the one town hall level where I would say it's not always necessary to do a queen charge or a queen walk. Sometimes you can just throw down a hero on each side, then mass minor it. Um, but it certainly can work, and in this case, nice use of the stone slammer to open up those walls. Um, I guess we'll see what's in the slammer itself. It looks like a P.E.K.K.A. and maybe like an ice golem, I think, or no, P.E.K.K.A. and a Valk or something. So uh, just to kind of add some damage in the area, poison on the CC troops, but getting a nice push here with the queen. We'll go ahead and go times two just for sake of time here because uh, we've seen this attack a few times now. But the queen will get good value um, having pushed into the base here. And then here come the miners. King over on the other side to create the funnel there. Everything pushing through. And um, there's just not a lot that's going to kill the miners here as long as he heals them correctly, which he does. Uh, uses the queen's ability. I think she comes back around or no, she goes through the wall here. That's too bad um, But the miners push through and uh, Under these heal spells, they're pretty hard to stop. So that's pretty much it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video Thanks for watching and now uh, for those of you 10s 11s and 12s out there Have a better idea of what to use what to look for when you're attacking. These are the most popular strategies as of now 
uh, Monday, February 25th, 2019. So, yeah. All right, that'll do it, though. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.